Good morning, Patriots. Hello from Washington, D.C. Um, <clears throat> a lot of people, um, I don't think they quite understand what it takes me to become Lady Maga and actually go to a rally fully um, decked out, which is my uniform. It is my weapon against the left, and it is a way of um, adding fun and uh, diversity and uh, controversy to this movement so that we awaken and form a coalition. So I'm just gonna take you through the process that I'm about to go through in order to go to the Freedom Rally today at Freedom Square. And if you are uh, in DC, please join us, Freedom Plaza, 12 p.m. Okay, so just really quick, I'll take you through um, what, what getting ready actually entails and it's more than most people think so supplies to begin the very first thing that i do is i put in colored contacts because they make your eyes look a little bit bigger um, then i have to glue down my eyebrows okay this is something people don't realize they're like oh you just put on makeup and go honey no i don't so i take a glue stick and i have to glue down all this hair in my eyebrow okay blow dry it, glue it again, and uh, make sure that that's nice and flat. Then I have to powder that eyebrow to fill in the little crevices of hair with powder um, to hold those eyebrows down. So the eyebrows are glued. Then we put on moisturizer and uh, use uh, body makeup for my face. This is tattoo coverage makeup, so it covers um, any blemishes. Obviously I shave and all of that before I begin this process. Then we move on to um, contour and eyes. I use this uh, white theatrical makeup for the eyes. And uh, then the eyelashes, as you can see, they are big. You got to glue them on. So um, just when you, when you see the, uh, the Lady Maga face, just know that I'm glued down. My eyebrows are glued down. I'm wearing contacts that are fairly itchy. Um, I'm wearing eyelashes that are fairly uncomfortable. I'm not complaining. I'm just letting you know that um, this is a, uh, uh, <laughs> a sacrifice uh, physically in order to stand up for our country. And I feel like my mission is to do this as Lady Maga because Lady Maga is making a difference. So, <clears throat> so that's, that's the face. Now, actually, before I begin any of that, I have to brush out the wig and restyle it because every time you look how terrible she looks. Every time you go out in the wind and walk around for hours, the wig actually rubs the back of your costume and starts to get really tangled and bunched up. So I've got about 20 to 25 minutes of brushing out that wig. And then in order to put on the whole costume, we start with tights, super comfortable. I wear two pairs of tights put on the costume, obviously, padding and all of that to create the illusion, then the leotard, and then um, today I'll be wearing gloves. Thank you. If you see this, the person who gave me these gloves at a rally in Utah, I wanna say thank you. And you said you were gonna text me and we were gonna collaborate on maybe another costume. So I'll wear gloves today because it's pretty cold. And then um, I'm not gonna do nails because I hate doing nails. And last but not least, we put on the earrings. Now look at my ear right here. Do you see the, the scab? It's because I super glue the earrings onto my ears because if you just put a clip on, then uh, it catches in the wig and falls off. So I glue my ears and of course the super glue when you take them off, there's a little bit of skin that comes off every time. So um, I just want you to know that I've, I'm willing to do all of this. I will continue doing all of this, but it is not a simple process to become Lady Maga. It is a personal effort that I make for my country because I consider the Lady Maga um, ensemble a uniform. It's my uniform. This is my role in the movement to add joy, to add sparkle, to make people question the narrative, to make the leftists angry because they can't stand a drag queen for Trump. So anyway, um, <clears throat> I think a lot of people just assume, oh, he throws on a wig, throws on some makeup and just heads on out. No, this is a very long process. And uh, Green Mama, I won't pierce my ears because I just, I don't like 
piercers on men. I know that might surprise you, but I live my life as a biological man. I'm very comfortable as the man that I am. And I just, for me, I just don't love pierced ears on a man in real life. I know that sounds crazy. People can pierce their ears all they want, but I'm, I just don't want holes in my ear. My body is my temple and I just feel like that's something I don't want to do. <laughs> so um, it's worth it. These little wounds heal very quickly and it actually doesn't hurt when you first rip it off. It just scabs up later, which is totally gross. But <laughs> anyway, you guys, um, I hope if you are in DC that you will join us at the Freedom Plaza at 12 p.m. Come join us, come shine, come sparkle. We will never be intimidated by Antifa. And um, yeah, really quick, uh, real, I can't see, uh, my drag name, Havana Melania. Okay, last but not least, just to have fun. Um, <clears throat> your drag name is the name of your first pet and the street you grew up on. So just put those two together, the name of your first pet and the street you grew up on. And if I did that, my drag name would be Fuji Sage. Isn't that awesome? See, it works. So you guys have fun doing that. Do not be discouraged. Um, I just listened to a podcast by The Ratchet Republican, and I just discovered him today. He's absolutely phenomenal. So look him up. It's R-A-T-C-H-E-T, -E The Ratchet Republican. He's a, he's a patriot, and he's a genius, and I've been enjoying his podcast while I get ready. So anyway, got to get going because I got two and a half hours of work ahead, and I will see you at the rally, whether you come in person or you join us through social media. I love you guys, and God bless America.